Hi everybody, this is an amazing time in my life. We've really wanted to bring you along the journey with us and we are in the final phase. We finished the uh, building work, all the construction work, the decorating work is all done. So I'm gonna walk you through the different aspects of what we achieved over the last few months. And I think you'll enjoy it because this is still the blank canvas for the furniture we're going to build. So we're gonna go into each room and show you exactly what space we've got and what we'll be working with as we move forward. So here we are, this is the first blank canvas. This is actually um, a kind of a big bedroom for Britain. It's a good sized bedroom for Britain. We don't have big bedrooms. We don't have big houses generally, but so we have got, I don't know if you remember, but we used to have, there was sliding wardrobes across there with full size mirrors going floor to ceiling and full width. And the problem with that wardrobe was it blanked off the whole wall and we ended up with some serious damp issues which we had to fix, which we have fixed. And so now it's all crystal clear white and maybe we'll add color, maybe we'll add other things that will soften some of that white starkness. But right now, this is what we're gonna start with. So what do I, I want in here? I'm considering this as maybe a master bedroom where it could have a king size or a double bed. But I'm also thinking along the lines of two separated beds that you could put uh, together to make a king size, two twin beds. Uh, so I'm considering that, I'm considering a wardrobe, I want a, a, a decent sized wardrobe, but the one thing I want about all the furniture in here is that it has to be dismantleable and it has to be movable. So in case some of you might want a nice wardrobe, a nice bed, two beds, whatever, and you need to move house because you're renting or because you found somewhere else, I want you to be able to take it apart. So I'm working towards that and in my head with my designs. So here's another room. I think this is another consideration. Again, I was thinking bunk beds. I'm thinking of children's room. I'm thinking of maybe just an adult room for a single person, two people. Um, we took out a, a, a cupboard in a corner over there. That was a, an immersion heater in there. Not very efficient and it took up a big space. So we've cleared out all the walls. So we've got four corners. Uh, that we can work with. We've got full walls to put pieces against, wardrobes or beds. Uh, we changed the window. We've replaced all the windows with wooden windows, serious double glazing because of heat efficiency. Uh, so this is a great room, another good room. Blank canvas, absolutely blank canvas. What we'll do with it, I don't quite know yet, but we're gonna get there piece by piece. We'll fill the rooms with the pieces of furniture we feel will be complementing your home. We've put a survey out asking people what they have in their bedrooms so they can tell us what they really can't live without. And one of the things that seems like nobody can live without is a bed. So those are on the agenda for where we're going. Okay, this is a very exciting point because um, I don't know if you'll remember this, but this was a third bedroom. It was very small. It could have been considered a box room here in Britain, but it could also have been considered more of a walk-in wardrobe size because it wasn't very big. But it was a better size for a bathroom than we had before. So what we did basically was install a completely new bathroom from the ground up. We did everything. Everything has been renewed. We've got tile walls, tile floor. Uh, which the builders did a great job with and um, I'm very happy with it. But uh, so this is just a complete room, but I just wanted to show you what we did because you will have seen this as an old box room and now it's brand new. It's very nice, clean, crisp, nice feel to it. So I think that's what we did with this and I'm happy to tell you about it. So 
So this is the exciting bit because this doesn't look like a room but this is actually going to be treated like a room because I wanted somewhere where we could have an armchair, a, a relaxing chair, I wanted a desk somewhere that I could sit and find some comfort and I wanted maybe I'm considering a few bookcases, that kind of thing, a waste bin, whatever we decide for this area here, whatever I design. I want it to be like another room but without the third, the fourth wall and uh, the neat thing about this room is it goes whoom round and up a new flight of stairs so we're moving into a third floor here we've got an upstairs up here and that's going to be the additional bedroom that we put in very nice I think it's going to be very enjoyable to make the smaller pieces I've got a limited space but I think it could be very nice So here we are, this is the, the third room, this is the one I'm really happy with this one as well because it's got so much light, bags of light, lots of windows, it overlooks the park at the back, it overlooks the gardens, it's not overseen by anybody, it's just a really private place and it's, it's very lovely. We've got awkward angles in the ceiling which I like, uh, wide windowsill we put on because you know you always have things that you want to display lots of uh, electric sockets and it just has a nice feel to the room probably we won't make furniture for this room I don't know I'm not eliminating that yet because we will have done two bedrooms we've a long way to go to get those fully uh, situated in our f uh, future videos but we've we've got um, some neat features to this room here's one of them is we we utilize the space in the eaves underneath there and that's a great place for your suitcases for things like that suitcases maybe your Christmas tree if it's not too big those kinds of things so it's really nice uh, we have another one on the opposite side and I've got one here which is a walk-in closet so it's really uh, handy for clothing and everything else so there won't be a need for wardrobes in here but there may be other pieces I might choose to make for it a bed things like that but this is a very very nice room I'm really happy with it and that just about concludes my bringing you into the house and hopefully you'll see the future we still we're still not completed we still have two or three years to go in the building of pieces for Paul Sellers for Sellers home and for the for the house but I'll be very happy to continue with you on the journey keep coming with us and keep building your furniture because that's what this is all about this is about training you and teaching you how to make furniture how to use the tools how to use the wood and how to maximize your home by custom making the pieces that will make it yours <laughs>